when I shine my light back here, I can see the snake, and that is not what I expected. Wait, he has a snake right now? <laughs> I'm filming him We're taking it out now. <laughs> do you want to come see? Where is he? <laughs> We're in the unit. We're in the laundry room. Hurry up. He's about to do it right now. No, I'm going to wash him this. He's taking it out? Yeah, literally right now. <laughs> 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 you know what? My boyfriend hasn't stepped foot in the unit <laughs> since he oh, heard really? there was a snake. <laughs> oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, it's massive. Oh my goodness, it is so big. Okay, we're in Midtown Atlanta going to look for a snake that has actually been seen in a laundry room of an apartment. And I'm told that they rent this apartment out as an Airbnb. So we're gonna get up here and take a look at this and see. Let's see, I think this might be it. Uh, right there, that's it. Not that one, it's that one right here that's us all right uh so here's the problem no parking 4 p.m to 6 p.m that's not good and it is uh, it's almost 4 30 so hang on i'm gonna have to hang up and call to see where i can bark i just talked to the caller and she's telling me that there's a parking for this building around back but she saw the venom van and said you can't park that back there i said well why she said well it's very tight parking and i drive a prius and the prius barely fits there's no way that'll fit i said ma'am with all due respect you don't understand my ability and my driving skill where's the interest of this parking so we're going to see <laughs> okay, okay, it's right here. And yep, that does look a little tight. <laughs> oh me. Okay. We are uh very close. Very close here. Scrubbing something. Okay, yeah, we're in. <laughs> There's not much room back there on each side, but we are in. My oh my. Well, I know my truck wouldn't fit through here. It's a F-350 dually. So, uh, man, this is uh, this is very tight. She was right, but you know what? It fits. I've been in worse places than this before. If you see the Venom van in person and you look at my mirrors, the opposite side, you'll see <laughs> they got a few scrapes on them because I have fit this van in places it should not fit. But we did it. Now we'll get up here and, oh, this is sketchy. Uh, there we go, there we go. We made it. Oh, that's not too bad. And we'll park right here. Somewhere. And there's the apartment. Pretty sure. So we are in Midtown Atlanta. This apartment complex is actually an Airbnb with a snake. Yeah, Alright, so apparently there is a snake in this laundry room. I've moved the trash can. It's not in here anywhere. And she said it's a, a brown snake. And uh, so I was thinking 
uh, maybe a brown snake. There's a snake actually called a brown snake. Okay. But it's, it's harmless. Then I was thinking a copperhead. But when I shine my light back here, I can see the snake. I don't know if you can see this. Right there under that silver hose. And that is not a copperhead or a brown snake. Yeah, my cat used to love hanging out back there. I bet. All right, now that I slid this washer dryer combo out, you can see the snake <laughs> right there. That's pretty cool. How is this? This is a Airbnb? Mm hmm. Yep. You think somebody like a pet they left it? it behind? Yeah. I I feel like if if someone's pet snake went loose, they would tell me about it. <laughs> you know? That would cost them like more money. Isn't that like a security deposit or something or something they would lose? I don't know. I mean I wouldn't do anything to them. Yeah. I would just like to know if they left a snake behind, you know? <clears throat> that would be a nice thing for somebody to tell you. Yeah. He has got himself wedged. Wait, he has a snake right now? <laughs> I'm we're filming to, him taking it out it. now. <laughs> do you want to come see? Where is he? <laughs> we're in the unit. We're in the laundry room. Hurry up. He's about to do it right now. No, I'm going to wash him with this. He's taking it out? Yeah, literally right now. <laughs> I'm literally hiding. <laughs> you know what? My boyfriend hasn't stepped foot in the unit <laughs> since he oh, heard really? he was a snake. <laughs> Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, it's massive. Oh, my goodness. It is so big. <laughs> so, this is a red tail boa constrictor. It's freezing cold, too. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. It's cold so, out. So, you think this is someone's pet? This is, oh, yeah, for sure. This is native to uh, Central and South America. Uh huh. So, it wow. is not from here. <laughs> So pretty. Is someone's pet? He's saying most likely. It's not. No, native it's a hundred percent someone's yeah, pet. Yeah, a hundred percent. And uh, also, there's no way this snake came into the laundry room uh -huh. other than coming in this door. Oh. So either crawl in this door. This this was one of your tenants. Somebody mm. had this in here. This, okay. did, this didn't end up in here. This is too sealed up yeah. for a snake of this size to make it in. Now, he's kind of lethargic and limp feeling. Mm. It's because he's so cold. But Aww, poor baby. Completely harmless. He's got like this soap or something all over him, it feels like. Can I wash him off somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a kitchen sink over there. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's saying it's most likely the Airbnb people. And they just didn't want to say anything. Yeah, no, this was somebody's pet that had it here and it got loose. They couldn't find it. Wow. I guarantee you that's what it was. So I'm just getting the water warm. Got to put in cold water. He's got something all over him. I don't know if it's like soap or what, but it's like snakes are not slimy. This one kind of feels more slimy. Mm -hmm. You know where it's not hot. There we go. So this is Dawn yep. dish detergent. We're just going to put this on him. Oh, look at him getting a little bath. He's getting a little bath. Yep. So whatever this is, this will get it off of him. It's not going to hurt the snake. He's going to wipe the warm water. Oh, so cute. So this snake, if it's a female, could get, you know, 8, 10, 12 feet possibly. Wow. So it's still not fully grown? No, it's not. Yeah, this is a young, a young boa constrictor. So oh. right here, we got a little bit of a cut right there on the side. Mm. So we'll have to check on that. Oh God, that looks yeah. I think it'll be okay. All right. You know, if I didn't have a cat, I would actually probably keep it. You would? Yeah. Yeah. But well, I do love snakes. <laughs> you would probably love your cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Moon would like them. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry you're in pain, baby. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it back and get it taken care of, doctored up, and get it warm. We'll um, put it in the enclosure. 
and we'll leave it for a week or so. And then after it acclimates and get some water to drink, then we'll start the process of trying to feed it. Once we get a couple of good meals into it, we'll eventually find it at home. Nice. So, yeah. That's awesome. That's, I didn't expect to find this in downtown Atlanta. <laughs> I know. In, in a park. I mean, this is some, like, you've got these doors here. These are sealed. Yeah. You didn't come in there. Uh-huh. Your, your door here, is this your only exterior door? Yep. Yeah, so this seals, look at that. Yeah, there's nowhere for him to come in. Someone brought this snake in, yeah. and it got loose. And they were afraid they'd be charged some fee or something. That's crazy to me, they, though. If that's your pet, like, why would yeah, you just see, abandon when it? When they get, well, they're not, because what happens, it gets loose. It can go under the couch to get up in the framework of the couch. Oh. And when it gets in places like that, like, you can look everywhere in here. It's very clean. Mm -hmm. But when it's up in something like that, it's just You're small. not going to find it. Yeah. You're not going to find it. Yeah. All. You know, we, um, we noticed that there was, like, a smell of something, like... It almost smelled like something dying. But like when I first came, I saw a decapitated mouse out there with like its guts out and everything. That wouldn't be because of this. Okay. I was like, that doesn't look was like... Was it a wild mouse? Or like, it was, like, yeah, it looked like a, ra a white okay, rat. Yeah. That yeah. would have anything to do with this, I wouldn't think. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah. shedding his skin too. Isn't that? Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's shedding and... Oh, he's so going through a lot right he now. He definitely needs some attention. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, he got injured. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, let me grab my snake hook. I'm glad I caught him for you. Me too. That would have I been bad. I'm calling him catching a snake. And it's really cool when you can catch a, a boa constrictor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so cool. We got a lot of snakes in the laundry rooms, but never a red tail boa. That's pretty nice. Cool. <laughs> Yay. Hopefully he goes to a nice home. Just support his body good. You have two hands. Just like that. That's perfect. Oh, he got injured. He has a little cut on his tail. I'm pretty sure that's their snake. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, should we should bring it up to them? Oh, for sure. <laughs> okay. Y'all, y'all know who it is? Yeah, they just left yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes, their snake. Yeah. He's got it. And they know it's missing. Yeah, and oh. they're not gonna say nothing. Yeah, that's what he said. Because <laughs> they didn't inform us, they didn't say anything. Yeah. Because they're thinking a pet fee or a yeah. lost snake. Yes, they can get, uh, you know, restricted from Airbnb. Yeah. yeah. Well, God forbid we had a tenant and they would have lost their mind. Yeah. So Waking bad. up to a snake. <laughs> can you imagine the review you'd get from that? <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. I'm not in the jungle. <laughs> okay, okay. Where are you going? Oh. I don't want to get the bruise. Yeah, he he was like wedged underneath the washer dryer unit. He was wedged under it. Wow. I mean, he, he he's got a cut on him, so we we'll we'll take care of his cut. But um, yeah, he uh, yeah, he, he's freezing cold. He has something sticky all over him. I don't know if it was like soap residue, you know. But uh, I washed him off. So uh, I know they came from Vermont. And they brought their pet snake with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I sure. guess so. I know, I know. Yeah. Very elegant. Well, that's what I was showing her. Your doors are secure. Yeah. The the laundry room, the venting and all that is secure. Yeah. It didn't come because we'll see snakes in the laundry rooms because yeah. they'll come into the venting. Yeah. So that, and that this one secure. couldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. So someone brought this snake in. Like I told her, if this goes under that sofa and mm -hmm. it gets up in there. It's a nightmare getting him out. So they probably just didn't know to look there. Yeah. Because you look under the beds and he's gone, but under the sofa you can't find him. Then he probably came out, ended up back there. Mm. So wow. trying to find somewhere warm, probably. Yeah. All right. Well, he's that's awesome. Yours. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I can help y'all. Let me know. I'll send you a link to our YouTube channel too. Thank okay. You so See y'all later. So You're very welcome. Good one. You too. I did not in a million years expect to come here and catch a, uh, a red tail boa constrictor in Atlanta in a laundry room. Well, that was uh, very unexpected. <laughs> a boa constrictor in an Airbnb in Midtown Atlanta, not what I expected 
ever. I was thinking like a little brown snake or, may, or possibly a copperhead, which that would have really shocked me. Uh, but yeah, that was just somebody's, somebody's pet they took with them on vacation. And it got loose, they couldn't find it. So I'm gonna take this guy, we'll, uh, um, he's bagged up now, I'll get it home, I'll get it into an enclosure, get it warmed up, make sure it has plenty of water. And then after a week or so, we'll attempt to feed it. And once it's eating well and, it, and it's good to go, we'll eventually find this thing a new home. So uh, uh, you just never know what in the world kind of car you're gonna get. I mean, it's always, always something different. <laughs> Let's go home. I just pulled out onto a one-way street going the wrong way. I sure did. <laughs> oh well. Whatever is the quickest way out of Atlanta. Yeah, I'm riding in the HOV lane. Some people won't agree with it, but nature people too. There's two of us. 